So now it all comes out. It all began two days prior, when Monokuma gave us the additional motive. The time limit added to this killing game triggered the crime. After the announcement, some of us decided to form groups to plan our next move. I had my own plan to find the mastermind, and someone offered to help me. At the time, I never would have imagined they would become the culprit. So we're really doing this, huh? I gotta admit, that's pretty clever. I guess now I understand why... Um, I guess now I understand why Spike Chunsoft didn't want people to be able to capture and record stuff past the first chapter, at least for a little while. Because they were very careful to only show pictures from the first class trial, thinking that Kaede couldn't possibly be the culprit because you'd seen pictures of her later in the game. Again, unreliable narrator. Gotta be done right or it's cheap. To expose the mastermind, the culprit and I set up hidden cameras in the library. There was a hidden door in the library that showed signs of use. We deduced that the mastermind would return there to let Monokuma out. The next day, we asked Mew if she could modify some cameras for our trap. We then went to the warehouse to gather the necessary materials. All we needed were disposable cameras and a security sensor. But the culprit found something else there. The murder weapon. Now that was kind of a clue. I got that because she was there pondering that for a while. But again, there was absolutely nothing to signify at all. Like, if only she said, Woof. Only, only this stuff in my backpack is so heavy, I should put it down somewhere. You know, just something like that. Just a very simple statement, and it wouldn't, you know, maybe later do that statement so as to avoid, you know, making it obvious. But just to, to not say anything about it, that's just dishonest. I don't know. That's right. The shot put ball. Funk. Gotta love the comic book style sounds there. They put the cameras, as well as the shot, in their backpack. Like, that should have been fairly obvious if she had a freaking shot put ball in her backpack. And I guess maybe to Shuichi it was. Then, on the day the time limit would expire, the day of the murder. That would have been perfect. If Shuichi had all of a sudden said, Hey, uh, do you prefer I carry the backpack? Like, not say why, but just say, Hey, you've been wearing that backpack for a while, can I carry it for you? You know. The culprit and I collected the modified cameras from you and visited the library. Once there, we searched the room for ideal locations to place the cameras. But even then, the culprit was preparing the murder. They began by removing the vent grate and laid it inside the air duct. Then, they moved the pile of books on top of the bookcase, pretending to organize them. I guess the writer would say that should have been an obvious enough hint. After that, they placed open encyclopedias on the final bookcase. Oh. It appeared innocuous enough, but it was actually a path for the murder weapon. The culprit also tampered with the hidden camera linked to the security sensor. I was responsible for setting up the other cameras, but that one, I didn't even notice their trick. They used duct tape to keep the flash function on. After the cameras were set, the culprit and I climbed the stairs to the first floor classroom. We 
kept a lookout for the others and waited for the security sensor to go off. During the stakeout, we saw Kaito and six others go down to the basement. Rantaro was with them, the first victim. After watching that group into the game room, I returned to the classroom. With about one hour remaining, the security receiver I was holding went off. I assumed it was the mastermind, so I ran out of the classroom to the library. I was in such a hurry, I left the culprit behind. Looking back on it now, that was the last chance I had to stop the murder. After I had left, the culprit took the shot football out of their backpack and rolled it into the classroom vent. So, I, I'm i seeing what it's saying. I'm getting why, but what was, like, did she think she was going to get out of this? Like, I remember, no, that they found that out later? Oh, I can't remember. I know Monokuma said that the first victim, or the first killer, wasn't going to be given a kill? Didn't it say that? Maybe she thought it'd be okay if she was sure she was killing the mastermind. I don't know. That's probably what it was, the latter. She's probably thinking if he's the mastermind, let's make sure he's killed and then we don't have anything to worry about. This set the murder in motion. She didn't quite understand how it worked yet, and the gravity of the situation. Rentaro had moved the bookcase, triggering the receiver. Unbeknownst to him, the trap had been sprung. First, the modified camera took a picture of Rentaro with the flash on. Rentaro noticed the flash and approached the bookcase to inspect the camera. The camera flash lured Rantaro directly into the murder weapon's path. The shot the culprit tossed into the vent rolled through the air duct. Straight Came down to its target. Vent ...and kept rolling atop the bookcase. Opening the vent grate and organizing the books was all to create a path. I still say the timing of that had to be absolutely perfect, and I don't quite know how she managed that. Under normal circumstances, the victim would have been alerted by the noise. But the promotional video was masking the sound of the shot rolling. shot kept rolling, then fell on Rantaro's head, killing him instantly. I mean, if she's a master at being able to count seconds in her mind after the receiver went off, and assured herself that he would be sitting there trying to figure out what it is for as long as he did. Timing seems the to have, have to have been almost wrong. perfect. I imagine, seeing Rantaro's body, the culprit probably thought... The mastermind is dead, the game is over, now we can all go home. But their wish didn't come true, because Rantaro wasn't the mastermind. Clearly not. It was murder, in an attempt to save all our lives. That is the truth. Truth behind your lies, Kaede Akamatsu, the ultimate pianist. But then again, I guess there's some artistic nature there. If she truly was that talented, rhythm and timing might have been her thing. And that concludes.
the events of this case. No. Kayede did it? Damn it! It would appear. It is a truth I do not wish to accept. But since Shuichi has brought everything to light, we can at least try to trust the Kaede we've come to know up to this point. The Kaede we've come to know? Even if she did commit a crime, what Kaede has said to us is not a lie. She wanted to protect us, and I firmly believe that to be the truth. If that was a lie too, it'd be the last straw for me. I'd have nothing left to believe in. You guys are so nice. Even though I betrayed you all. No! That's not true, Kaede! You were trying to save all of us. Nice job, Shuichi. I didn't expect any less. What? You must have had an awful lot of trust in him to basically be sure that he would pull this off. You were super reliable back there. But you still have a long way to go. You need to be more assertive. If you did that more often, you'd be a pretty cool guy. He'd be a cool guy who doesn't afraid of anything. Kaede, why? Why are you smiling like that? Why are you still trying to get me to be brave? Why, Kaede? Why are you thinking about everyone except yourself? If you had just been less selfless, he wouldn't have had to murder. Why? Why do you do that? I'm sorry. Stop, stop, stop! At least save it for the end of the trial! Sheesh! <laughs> Looks like the debate's finished, so that means it's voting time! All right, you bastards! Press the button in front of you to cast your vote! And make sure y'all vote, because refusing to vote is grounds for termination. At last! The heart-racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless finally face off! It's voting time! Well then let's do it already, come on! Whoa, I actually get to choose. What happens if I don't vote? Do I lose? Do I die? Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I can vote for whomever I want. It's it's majority, isn't it? Do <laughs> vote for myself. Nah, let's just do this. I hate to admit it, but let's do it. She even voted for herself. Who'll be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? The Kaede says guilty. I typically get an A on these, even though I do pretty terrible at various sections. Hmm. I've never gotten an S. I think the worst I got was a B. Absolutely right! I'm glad. What? Don't screw around! That's not true. I don't get it! <laughs> Please! God. 
real hurt. Hey! I would like to hear your thoughts on this, though, Kaede. Why did you try to kill them? Maybe they could have been captured. Um. Yeah. Therefore. That's right. Kokichi, that's enough. I can see through your act. Man. That's right. I mean, we barely got to know him, to be fair. Wait! Kaede, please calm down. She would have left and everyone else would have died. Oh, I forgot. That's how it worked. Okay. Yeah. I see. Uh. It's almost like anything that Monokuma does for us isn't really a gift at all. Is that the reason for the trial? To reveal the mastermind? Because... Well then... Oh yeah! Saying you were involved with this? No, no, I misunderstood. Uh. I guess in that situation, a lie is somewhat excusable. And to be fair, justice was served, or will be, in a second. Sorry. This is my fault. I was wrong! There was no mastermind! What? Uh, okay. That's what I thought at first. But in the end, we have nothing! No one made any moves at the time limit. The trial was useless! Let's see. Maybe... But... That's... 
I wanted to protect Kaede, but I also wanted to unmask the Mastermind. But even when the killer was about to be condemned, they remained hidden. Sorry. That has to mean that the Mastermind is not among us after all. What? I see. Uh, okay. That's why this is my fault. All of this happened because my detective work was wrong. If I hadn't been so stupid, if I never said anything about a mastermind to Kaede, Rentaro wouldn't have died and Kaede wouldn't be a murderer. That's wrong! Huh? Because... Right? But... Jeez. Oh. Uh, huh? Me? Yeah. Because... You need to shut up right now. Yeah. However. Right! Kaede, I didn't know how, but I wanted to get out of here with you. I wanted to be friends. Sorry. And maybe more. <clears throat> I didn't say anything. Hi, hello. <laughs> what? Ah, that's right. <laughs> now then. Huh? Make things interesting? Thrills, chills, kills! Ah! Oh god. Don't screw around! I don't think we have a choice, buddy. This isn't gonna be pretty. Punishment time is a sacred segment. You're not allowed to interfere. And if you even try to interfere, we'll just crush you with these here exocells. It's cruel, but it's probably better if one person dies instead of everyone. Like hell am I just gonna sit here and do what you say? Kaede fought with her life on the line, and so will I. Gonto will face you all. Times like this are why Gonta became strong. Gentlemen never back down, and neither will Gonta. Love you too. This is the perfect chance to test out my Neo Aikido skills on machines. Yeah, I'll help. I can. Everyone, stop! Stop it. Kaede. I. You're just giving up? Why? You said you'd never give up. That we get out of here together. That's what you said, Kaede. Damn it! So why are you giving up now? Did you even mean what you said? I know we can do something! Don't give up until the end. No? 
I believe in you. You have to live. It's a promise. Yeah. I shall take that request. <laughs> Bye. Gee, don't be too broken up about this, Kokichi. Well now. Now then, I prepared a very special punishment. Damn. Wait a second, Kylie, please don't! Those of you who haven't played this series before, you might want to brace yourself. Okay, I think she's dead now. You don't need to keep doing this. Okay, that was just- WHOA! Why were you trying to save her? Oh no, the other one just shoved him in there. What? And did you really need to crush her? After she suffocated? Really? The moment it was over, I felt my legs give out underneath me. What I just saw it didn't feel real. As if all reality had vanished, and the only thing left was a fictional world. Real or not, Kaede was gone. Kaede Akamatsu no longer existed in our world. <laughs> what? Oh well. You don't have any sympathy for your siblings?
Boy, you don't seem broken up about this either. And you're a liar, so I don't trust anything you say. Oh, stop. Thanks for telling us now. What is it? <laughs> that is. <laughs> Why you? That is true, we never learned that. Too bad! However... You're really bugging me! And another thing... What? Thanks. Don't screw around. Is that so? Too bad. Damn. Yes, I would like to hear this. Hmm. And silence, of course. Because. Ah. It's getting interesting. And with that, Monokuma and the Cubs left, and only we remained in the courtroom. No. Mm. <sighs> um... Hey. You don't seem too broken up about this either. Rare time. W what? Even Mega Bitch over there has some emotion. Jeez. That's enough. Kato's voice boomed in the air, and the room went silent. Damn. Damn it. Dumbass. I'm sorry. Huh? Jeez. Clench your teeth. Kaito, you are supposed to say that before you hit him. 
Did you hear what Kaede said? She said she believed in you. That she passed her wish on to you. But what the hell's wrong with you? You didn't say a damn thing to Monokuma. You call yourself a man? Dude, back the fuck up. He was closer to her than any of you. Damn it. Dumbass. Listen up. Feel free. Are you okay? Uh, okay. <sighs> I'm fine. For now. Mm. Then. <laughs> Sorry. You all should go ahead without me. Um. Uh. Um. I want to be alone for a while. <laughs> Just for a little bit. But... No. <sighs> yeah. Listen. Hey! One by one, everyone climbed aboard the elevator. I mean... Huh? What do you mean? That's right. Uh, okay. Listen up. I mean... With those words, he stepped onto the elevator. Before I realized it, I got to my feet. I just started walking, and I was headed toward the Ultimate Pianist's research lab. It's not as if there would be any memories here. But these are the things she was really passionate about. And that's good enough for now. What a magnificent piano. I would have liked to hear her play it. If only just once. Ah, oh, that reminds me. The song that Kaede was talking about. Of course, it must be here somewhere. I stood in front of the shelves of CDs and searched each one thoroughly, end to end. It should be here somewhere. Where is it? Ah! Oh. Here it is. This is it. I took the CD from the shelf and placed it in the player in the corner. Soon, a soft melody had filled the classroom. My body relaxed, totally enveloped in the music. It was a strange feeling, the sound seeping into my body. Before long, I began to close my eyes. I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. Hmm, a pretty song to play for you. Oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. It's a soothing song that calms your heart, like the moon's reflection on water. <laughs> you noticed, huh? Yeah. 
I'm shaking too. But I'd be a mess if you weren't here. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I would have been so lost. I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. With you by my side, I feel like I can stand up to anything. You give me the courage I need to take on the Mastermind. So please, be more confident. I believe in you, so you should definitely believe in yourself. Yeah, I'll try. I don't know if I can do it, but... No, I'll do it. I have to believe in myself. I won't be afraid anymore. I will face the truth for everyone. I won't give up for your sake, Kaede. I promise. From the bottom of my heart, I promise you, Kaede. Yep, that's our promise. I'm leaving everything up to you, Shuichi. Goodbye. Well, that's that. Two down, fourteen remain. Oh, gee, thanks. Sure. Hey guys, uh, Kronos here. I want to sincerely apologize for how long this took me to post. I also want to sincerely apologize for the quality of the videos for the first class trial. Suffice it to say, I am entirely unsatisfied with how it came out. I had a lot going on as far as travel and work, but that is no excuse. Basically what it came down to is that I continued to try and record when I had no space on my hard drive, and it completely screwed up the recording beyond repair. I had to perform so many editing calisthenics just to get this to play as good as it did. So, I hope you'll forgive me, and I assure you, the coming videos in the series will be much, much, much cleaner, much smoother, and much better to come. So, again, thank you all for bearing with me, thank you all so much for watching. I do hope you're enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying bringing it to you, but unfortunately I must be signing off for now. Take care.